Welcome to Mastering Mel for Maya, a free companion to my popular Python for Maya course, linked in the video description below. In part 10 of our video series, we'll be creating a very simple user interface inside of Maya. This will consist of a few buttons that will be connected to a mix of functions and Maya commands. First, let's display our window. You can do this using the window command. So you say window dash title and you give it the window title. You can use dash width height to give it the dimensions of the window. And finally, you give it the window name. In this case, I'm going to call it my window. If I run this, nothing happens. I need to say show window and give it the window name. When I do this, the window opens up. If I run this code multiple times, it will error. This is because we already have a window of this name and Maya only lets you have one object with that unique name. Instead what we can do is we can say if window exists, my window, which is the name of the window, we can delete it before we create a new window. So let's run this. And no matter how many times I run it, it'll close the window first before opening a new one. We're now going to add some buttons to this window. First, we need to define the layout that the window uses. We're going to use a grid layout, which lays out all the objects inside the window in a grid. We'll tell it that we want to use two columns, and we'll give it a width and height for each cell in the grid. In this case, it'll be 150 by 80, which is slightly smaller than the width and height of our window. After that, we'll say button, and we'll give the button a label, in this case, create sphere, and then we'll give the button a command to run. In this case, we'll tell it to run polysphere. We can keep creating buttons, and I'll say button, label, create cube, and tell it to run polycube. We can also tell it the functions we want to run. In this case, I'm going to say rig nodes, and I'm going to give it one, and I'm going to give it zero for locked and unlocked respectively. So if I now run this, I get a UI with create sphere, create cube, rig nodes locked, and rig nodes unlocked. If I click on create sphere, you can see that it created a sphere here. With the sphere selected, I can also click on create cube, and it makes a little cube, which is unfortunately inside the sphere. I can then say rig nodes locked, and you can see that it's run our rig nodes function that we created earlier, where I have a NURB circle that I can move freely, and I have a cube that is locked. I can also use the unlocked one on the sphere. Let me scale it down a bit, and I'll say rig nodes unlocked. So now, I have this controller that I can move around, and I have a sphere that is free. Inside Mel, the last item you define is a parent. So in this case, the grid layout is a parent for all of these buttons. And the parent for the grid layout is window. You can nest multiple layouts by defining the parent for each one. And you can find examples of this in the Maya documentation for the UI commands. If you're interested in learning more about programming inside of Maya, check out my popular Python for Maya course, which is linked in the video description below.